All right, guys, Merry Christmas. Um, filming this on Christmas Day. So, as you can see, we're back home. Last two videos have been in other places, right? I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I got sick. Um, I'm still sick, still getting over it. Uh, I feel like I've been feeling like shit for uh, a couple days now. Um, haven't really been lifting. Um, you guys have seen the workout beginning of this video, which was last night. Um, just a quick one. I actually wanted to get in the gym and, you know, try and lift a little bit and it didn't go it didn't go great but um at least we got in there so hopefully i'll be over this by the time we go to florida in a couple days um but yeah if you're watching this hope y'all had a really good christmas spent time with some family and shit um, i've kind of just been enjoying my time resting a little bit um trying to still make content and stuff but and obviously being sick i've lost some weight i'm um, definitely not what i was and it's hurting the bulk right now but um, I just don't have an appetite at all. and I, It's been hard to get food down. Hopefully, we'll have a good lift tonight. And I will catch you guys when you're ready. Head to the gym. All right, pre-workout meal. It's going to be beef and rice. We're going to go hit some legs. Um, so the plan is for legs. I'm really just going to go in and try to get a good sweat. Because I don't feel good, like I said. So, yeah, I know this is a bit of a... Ooh. I know this is a bit of a weird video because I'm sick. I don't think I've ever been sick in like a video like this where I just kind of like, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really haven't had a lot of motivation to film for YouTube. Um, obviously being sick and shit, but we're gonna go finish this banger off with a good ass leg workout. And uh, yeah, I gotta get this beef and rice down. This is the first time I've eaten beef and rice for the last couple days because I just can't get it down. But all right, I'll catch you guys, we're at the gym. I don't know where all the fucking snow is at. I don't know why we just got this crazy ass fog. It just came out of nowhere. It's literally Christmas and it's freaking raining. All right, guys, we just got to the gym, but something I want to touch on is, so I, you guys know I was tra I've been traveling a lot this past month, or even like year, honestly, but I've always found a way to consistently still go to the gym and eat relatively good. I'm not gonna say my diet was like in check and it was like, you know, really good, like meal prep and shit, cause it wasn't, you know, I was eating like Wingstop, um, I was eating whatever, Chick-fil-A, Canes, whatever it is, on the go. When you're traveling and stuff, you yeah, obviously you can meal prep and I'm not making any excuses like I, I could have um, It would have been very difficult though food would have gone bad But if you're making like good choices when it comes to doing those things Like let's say you go to you go to eat out But you pick something that's you know a protein loaded meal rather than just the fat and the carbs and shit If you can do that and you could substitute things you could still stay on track pretty well And then when it comes to like going to the gym when you're traveling um, Find a gym bro like if you're traveling, you're most likely not far from a gym. And if you can make it, you should. Um, it shouldn't be an excuse, right? Like, um, for me, I know I go because I, I get content from them and stuff. And I like to go just try different gyms. But some days when I was traveling, I was like, oh, we, we get to the hotel, you know, maybe it was late, whatnot. And I was tired and I was like, I don't know if I want to, you know, we just drove four hours. And, you know, I was tired and I was like, oh, I don't know. Do I want to go to the gym? If you got goals and shit you want to accomplish, bro, you have to, like, do a lot of the shit you don't feel like doing most of the time. I could have just sat home and watched the rest of the football game and said, nah, I'm all right. I don't need to hit legs today, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in there and we're going to see what we can do. Without kill myself too much. I don't want to get, like, more sick or get, like, worse. Um, and if anyone's a softy and thinks that I'm gonna get people sick, there's nobody in here And I'll show y'all when I go in there. There is not one car here um, It's Christmas Day, you know people are with their families People are binge eating people are you know watching football, whatever it is And you know the New Year's coming and when the New Year comes everyone decides to sign up for a gym membership And I don't hate on people who do I think you know if you want to use the New Year as your motivation to start going to the gym I'm not gonna hate on you for it I just think a lot of people say they're gonna do things and they don't stick to them, especially when it comes to going to the gym and signing up January 1st to go. And it really, you know, as the year goes on, it really weeds out who's really about that and who's not. 
this gym's already pretty small, but and I have a different stance on like New Year's resolutions because I don't really do resolutions. I just set some goals for the year because there's something I've been wanting to do for myself. I should have started already and not waited till the first of the year to do it. You know, I think uh, it's gonna be a good year though for for anyone who wants to chase their shit, go after go after different things outside of the norm of society. I think it's a good year for it. So uh, definitely do that. But I'm gonna go in and hit some legs. I'll catch y'all in the gym. guys legs are cooked um i'm gonna head home i'm freaking starving dude i was getting really hungry i don't i haven't had an appetite this whole time i've been sick but now it's kicking in i also wanted to mention like what is with these bigger creators or even even some smaller creators that they're like they have such an ego where if anyone is doing anything close to what they're doing or doing better or they're whatever they're growing or whatever it is these, some of these creators are so egotistical. I'm not trying to be a complete dick, but some of these fucking influencers and creators absolutely do not give a fuck about any other supporters or fans or whatever you want to call them. And a lot of them literally just care about the money, um, especially with this brand that I'm wearing right now. But I do, I do like the clothes, so that's why I continue to wear the brand. Um, but... I don't know. It's I'm I'm sick of some of these dudes. Like some of these dudes actually are, they live on the internet completely. 
they don't fucking know how to go out and socialize or do anything and they're just they they have this entitlement and then they go in the real world and nobody gives a fuck about them because they're fucking weird sorry if i'm swearing a lot i'm just i get pissed off with some of these people because like yes i love social media and i i want to do it for a living oh look at these deer but um but i also know like i know not to take things like too serious and to be entitled to think you're whatever you own certain things or whatever on social media is ridiculous i think it's fucking stupid and for anyone that wants to like create content like me bro i could care less if you don't tag me in shit or whatever that's like mine i could care less because if you're inspired by my content and you want to go create stuff like it i think that's amazing i think that's sick um that's all i really ever want to do is just inspire people and in, um through my content so i really could care less if somebody's out here fucking i don't know like i know there's accounts that take my clips and literally post it on theirs i don't really give a fuck it just more exposure for me at the end of the day i don't want to seem like a hater because i want to be a nice guy but i i i don't know sometimes it's hard for me because there's just some some people that piss me off especially like in my comments or in other other my homies comments or something and I don't like arguing on social media because I feel like it's pointless because there's so many like trolls out there and shit. Um, at the end of the day, you know, if you want to create, go ahead and create, bro. Don't don't try to like create the way someone else thinks you should or whatever. Just do what you want to do, bro. Don't let anyone fucking hate on you. All right. Ninety percent of this fitness industry is really fucking fake, and most of the people are not who you who you think they are on the internet. Um, I like to think myself as the same on camera as I am off camera, but it's, I don't know, if I ever meet one of you guys, hopefully you can say that about me. So I, I wanna keep it a little more real with you guys, a little more raw, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cause that's what that's what people need. I, I like watching content that's real. I hate, like the Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast has kind of ruined YouTube a little bit because every creator wants to be Mr. Beast. So they make videos like Mr. Beast. You guys have probably seen them all over YouTube. That content's overplayed, in my opinion. I don't, I don't like watching it. I know it's like targeted towards kids and stuff, but I don't know. I enjoy like the raw, the real content. You know, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Um, the thing is, with, like people that are fake natties, is like you literally make more money and you go, you get more engagement by saying you're on steroids nowadays, which is crazy because like years ago, if you said the opposite and you said you were natural, you got praised for it and everything and now it's the other way around because i think just the way things are going i don't know it's it's crazy but but yeah that's enough ranting for me i'm gonna head in take some nyquil get to editing this video and then uh i will catch you guys next video which will be in florida because i think we leave wednesday and today is monday which is christmas me and caitlin are gonna drive down um and my family i'm gonna meet them down there and stuff but yeah, another travel YouTube video next week. Hope you guys look forward to that. But yeah, uh, it was nice to be home for a little bit, even though I felt like shit. I'm hoping January we travel a lot more. I want to go to Houston again. And then also go meet up with Petre in Chicago. One of the weekends, or I don't know, maybe I do a whole week there. We're going to film a bunch of content. I'll do a YouTube video with him. That'll be fun as fuck. I can't wait. Peter, if you're watching this, bro, we got to get a YouTube video in. People want to see it. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, guys, as you guys are watching this, Alfline currently has a 30% off sale. So if you guys use my code, it's 30% off the whole site, um, getting anything. Uh, I don't have my products yet because I'm still a brand new athlete, but when I get stuff, I'll show you guys. But yeah, right now, Code Merrick is 30% off everything. So, go get some. <laughs>